Yeah, good morning to you, Craig. And according to state health data, we've seen city rates of COVID steadily on the rise throughout the month of December. And we also know that RSV and flu has also been going up. And that's why we're now seeing this ma mask mandate going back for the 11 hospitals that the New York City Health and Hospitals runs. It's a point of making sure that essential health care workers can continue to be in place to take care of the rest of the public. And indeed, this is part of a nationwide trend that we are seeing in our country. A lot of this went back into effect after Christmas across the nation. We're seeing the rise in those contracting viruses that can make people ill and also hospitalize them. Experts now tracking this rise and predicting hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations and many thousands thousands of deaths across the country. It is not expected to be nearly as deadly as in winters past, but to cut down on the transmissions and deaths that we're seeing in hospitals from L.A. to Massachusetts, they are rolling back those mask mandates. Some rolling back the rules months ago, actually, anticipating the post-holiday surges that have been predicted and seen during this year. Here in New York, New York City Health and Hospitals saying, as we've seen an increase in COVID, flu, and R RSV. This is really to protect our patients, staff, and the community. It applies to clinical settings such as our hospitals, community health centers, and nursing homes. The city health and hospitals confirming on Wednesday that the 11 hospitals that it runs along with the 30 health centers and five long-term care facilities all have these in place. It's for patients, visitors, and health care providers. And this comes amidst the fact that we've seen 1,300 people currently hospitalized. We're live this morning outside of Bellevue. I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix 11 News. Back to you, Craig.